Yo, baby. Well, before any of that, roll intro. <laughs> Bonjour les poules, et foie foie. Do you know what? I miss the most, and I don't miss anything, hardly anything, from being back in the UK, but the thing that I miss the most is on today's light like today, where it's cold, and you're lying in bed, and it's too cold to get out of the bed, but then you hear the click of the central heating kick in. Yeah, we don't have that here, so we've got a log burner. Uh, which works fine. Anyway, good morning from Department 16, La Charente, the northernmost tip of the southwest of France. It's a lovely bright day today, lovely bright day. Um, sunny, but it is, as I said, very, very cold. And uh, that tree there, I'm gonna have to cut it down because it's ruining a nice sunrise shot. I'm not really gonna cut it down. So, order of the day is um, we need to extend Bell and Wally's field. So they're now gonna be occupying right up until probably the, the end of the, 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 yeah, the goalpost. So they've got all fresh grass there and it'll give time for the grass in the bottom field to grow back again. And so, uh, yeah, because although we've got loads and loads of hay, we've also got loads of free grass that they can eat and they love it as well. So we're gonna to need to get some temporary fencing today. Uh, we've got some, but it's not enough. Yeah, so Lisa will be out in a minute so we can um, survey uh, the fencing, the, the, the existing fencing, to see how many, how many um, temporary posts we need. Um, yeah, so let's do that. Sorry, before that, thank you all so much for your comments. Um, you don't forget to like and subscribe and please check your subscription status because YouTube, for some reason, unsubscribes people. And it's done it to me before where it's, un it's unsubscribed me from uh, my favourite channels. So go and have a check. But yeah, it was an interesting conversation yesterday. Everyone found it hilarious. Bev, Mitchell, um, that, we, uh, that we had a day of disaster yesterday when nothing went right. But we've got a plan for next week. Anyway, let's get on with... Uh, we'll take an instruction from Lisa. Take some hay down for them. So the mic batteries run out, so apologies for the sound. If there are any sound issues, um, yes, yeah, so we're going to go down and see the horses and uh, take them, take them some hay, and then have a look at this fence. We can't use a certain part of the garden because that's where the frost tank came out, uh, comes out, and the previous owners they had a horse, and uh, it went straight into the uh, into the pipe, which is not good. We don't want that to happen. Do we? So we're going to use that existing fence there. We're going to have temporary fencing across there. Goes all the way across there and then meet that fence there, which we'll put field affair, which is a French for wire. Come on, Wally. Come on, Belle. Me. So on the video that I posted previously, on um, what day is it? Friday. We showed footage of uh, what was it Wednesday? We showed your footage of Lisa and I you're brushing both horses up the top. As soon as we brought them down, the first thing Wally did was rolled around in the mud. So he's now got a mucky face. So this is the the fence posts. Shout out to Tim and Michelle from St. Matthew, uh, about 48 minutes away from here. Um, they're from New Zealand, which is uh, very far away. But thank you very much for your November donation. 
We're about 1800 quid um, so far. Uh, we've got about a week to go. Keep uh, keep donating, please. Right, off to uh, Gambert uh, in uh, Champagne Mouton uh, to go and get some temporary post and, post it, post and other stuff. Cue slow mo. Oliver. But what's the law? Cause you said so I let you break into my own mind What was mine? Now I'm stopping you to tell you you're really There we have it. We've extended their field. We've probably got about another quarter of an acre. And that grass over there will grow. <laughs> but we don't know what the fence is electrified. Because that's not showing any reading. So we're going to test it with the other battery. Just like your new grass. <laughs> So, 
he wasn't enthralled enough by putting up fences and uh, lawn mowing, keep watching because tomorrow in this video I'm going to a Christmas market. Not been to one before. I'm excited about that. I'll see you tomorrow. Blowy today. Just want to give a big thank you to Glenn Martin because if you're that interested and uh, you can't watch Place in the Sun, uh, if you're that interested, um, you can catch it on YouTube because the Place in the Sun have got their own YouTube channel and ours is on there. It's got a massive amount of views of 80. <laughs> uh, but if you just point to YouTube, Place in the Sun. And it's uh, season 24, episode 46. Anyway, good afternoon. Spent uh, a good hour or so cooking uh, Bombay Aloo, Bombay potatoes, um, from the Al's Kitchen YouTube uh, channel. Your recipe? Uh, it tasted 90% like uh, Bombay Aloo, but uh, there's something missing. Anyway, we're off to the Christmas market. Have a call.
Can you see kids? Can you see the Christmas lights? Yeah, I didn't. They're moving ones as well, like the sparkly ones. Can you see? Yeah. I think that's the Santa magic lift. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. Can you see me? Oh. This is annoying. This is proper annoying. Nobody wants wet hay. Least of all, the horses. I'll probably do nothing. It's a bit windy today. <sighs> anyway, yeah, it's really annoying uh, with the wind blowing up uh, the tarpaulin on the hay, but uh, hey ho, I fixed it. So today we were meant to be going to the tax office, but Lisa has changed their Tuesday yoga to Monday, so. Um, we're going to do it tomorrow. But anyway, um, today what I've done is hopefully I've linked my top up mutual insurance to my Amelie account because I went onto my Amelie account and the two weren't linked. So using um, like an online panda doc, depot doc, I think it's called. I, th I think I've managed to upload it. Anyway, I want to ask you a question. Um, so I've had a few uh, really helpful comments from Liz Bunting. Thank you. Uh, sorry, I'll stop turning around on the chair because it's really squeaky. Um, and it's around about around about the tax returns. Now, I get paid uh, my uh, pension into my UK account. Um, the pension is from the police, so it's a government pension. So I'm covered by the double taxation treaty, which means that I only get taxed in the UK and I don't get taxed again in France. Um, however, I haven't submitted a tax return. Now, we moved here on the 2nd of September, 2023. I'm from the French lady who um, is the local tax lady, seems to think that um, we shouldn't submit a tax return until May, 2025. Uh, but Liz was saying that we should have done one last year. Um, it's gonna be a fairly simple tax return because um, of the pension being paid over there. So um, yeah, you guys, Tell me, please, um, can you confirm what, what Liz is saying or what the other French lady is saying in terms of a tax return? It's no big deal. I'll just yeah, submit a late one and apologise. But uh, yeah. And can you please take a look at this channel that I'm about to show you? It's an English couple called Steve and Ali that live over in Canada that are moving to um, France. So they've already been over here on a recce and they've uh, viewed a few um, properties. Um, but I'll show you their channel now. They've got five subscribers and one video up. Uh, yeah, so they need a bit of help. So I'll show you that now. In this video, I'm gonna discuss our uh, move from um, our first steps in moving from Canada to France. Okay, so uh, the first chateau that we visited in, um, it was actually the Perche region of France. Wonderful, beautiful place. So original, all the features had the most magnificent uh, grand salon. This is one of those properties that we really, really wanted to like. Um, it's a chateau in Salis du Salat. I believe that's what it's called. Yeah, so Steve's a, uh, he's a cabinet maker. And, um, and us having this channel now confirms that we are influencers because um, he sent me a lovely comment saying that um, we've influenced him to, uh, to start his own channel and, um, and to do his own videos. So um, he's a cabinet maker and uh, yeah, they're moving over to France. And you can see by the size of their properties, uh, yeah, their channel's got the potential of, um, of, yeah, of going sky high. Um, especially if there's going to be renovation work doing, which uh, Steve says that he can do most of it himself. Yes, yeah, so go and take a look at the channel, please. Give him a subscribe, add a comment saying that I passed you over to him. Thank you. Right, 
I'm dressed. <laughs> Elisa got home at lunchtime. She went, why are you still in your pyjamas? <laughs> so I got dressed. Anyway, I'm going to read out a, um, a message I was sent yesterday. I'm not going to say who it's from. Um, because I don't want to embarrass them. But it's just like, it's what every YouTuber wants to hear. I've got to be honest with you. But, uh, right. Let's, let's put my glasses on. Sorry. Um, hi, Rob and Lisa. Uh, can I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your wonderful YouTube channel? It's absolutely fantastic. It's the only channel on YouTube that I watch. Please don't change a thing. I love seeing the rolling hills of the Chiron. Three old vision, it helps us maintain our connection with the glorious Chiron. Department says, as you know, in the southwest of France. That's just amazing. Anyway, made my day yesterday. Have an absolute fantastic Monday. See you Wednesday. Laters. <laughs>